Hey guys, just a quick video on how to produce your assembly drawing for task 13 um, and how to create the section view that is also required and the parts list with balloons. So first things first, open up your blank template which is found on the um, Classroom 365. Uh, download it and then every time you use it, do a save as. The next thing you need to do is put in your base view. So we search for the item and we find our assembly. If you're watching this and you haven't done the assembly yet, you need to go back one video and find the assembly video and um, put all your parts together. So select your assembly that you want to put on. And before I click anywhere else, what I need to do is I need to spin this assembly so that it's in a, um, in a nice orientation where I can put all my parts in play, uh, balloons and see all the parts. So um, as I, I zoom in here, I can see both handle caps, certain views, as I spin it around, you'll see that some parts are hidden, so I can't quite see it all very nicely there. Um, or it might just look odd. There's a great example of how you can't see every little component. So we'll spin it around so it looks quite nice like that. And for scale, I might try just doing a half scale for now. And uh, I think I'm just going to leave it at that for now and click OK. What I will do is I'll move that up here. And first things first, what I might do is I'm going to import all the balloons. I'll show you how that's done. It's quite easy. If you go to annotate, and click on balloon. I should be able to click each part. So it says down here, um, select a component. So I select each part. It's gonna get them from here and I'll click OK. And it's giving me my part balloons. I've done another left click to get it to there. Right click and continue. And that will place the balloon. What I'm trying to do here is I don't want any balloons sort of crossing over the top of each other so I want to try and keep it fairly neat and tidy. So I've done my spindle cap, my spindle, I now do my handle and then <clears throat> I'm going to actually label this one twice so with any luck that says number five as well. And that will tell the reader that both those parts are the same thing. Um, from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in my my parts list. Um, it's asked me to select a view, so I'm just going to say that view there. And with any luck, it will import a parts list for me, and I'm going to chuck it right there. And um, this is where I was saying it's very important that you save your job with the correct name otherwise it's going to come up either with um, whatever you called it it might be spelled incorrectly or it might be the wrong part name so don't call your parts you know spindle thingy bob because it will come up there spindle thingy bob so you need to label it correctly when you save it the slight problem here is that if we look at the example here I've got my parts list and I've flipped it upside down and the parts go from one to five. The reason for this is so that I can add additional parts and um, add them to the table and the table can grow out this way. So if I was to modify this G clamp like you guys have to do for your assignment, I can add extra parts to it like that. Um, so for this one, to change that, I'm pretty sure I right click on this and I'm going to go into edit part list style. Up it comes and this is where I just put the heading down the bottom and the direction of the numbers. I think I've got that right. Yep, let's change that. In the description, all I'll get you to add is what the part is made out of. Um, bit of background noise today in this recording, sorry guys. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create 
my um, section view. Okay, so to do that, all I'm going to do is place a base view of the assembly. And I'm going to try and get it in the same orientation as what I have in front of me right now. So that would be with the spindle to the bottom. And then I'm going to have the clamp face me like that. <coughs> and so I'll click OK. And then move that up to the top uh, top right. And then this next part's pretty easy. I'm just going to go to section. Computer asks me down the bottom here um, what I want a section. So if I click from there to there, right click and then continue, that should give me an all right in, um, section. I don't like how it's missing the top, but. Um, but I'll just put it in there just for this example so I'm not chewing up all your time. And then you'll have a drawing that looks something very similar to this. We can delete the third angle projection symbol because it's not required. And then it's up to you to change your um, <coughs> title block. So if we have a look here, it's a bit, bit of a neater version here um, of our section, the main area where we're interested in in this section is how the spindle goes through the clamp body and um, how the spindle cap attaches. <clears throat>